this is Birdsby, and today we're doing a, another podcast with the Mighty Slime LP. Hello. Alright, so today we're going to be discussing a lot of things, um, a lot of news that's been happening um, during stuff. So today, the first thing we're talking about is the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. So, what do you think about, what is your opinion on that, on the making of the movie? It's going to be like... Sonic Boom took the opposite direction. See, Sonic Boom has a good cartoon, but horrible game. So then I'm thinking of like the FNAF movie. Is it, it's gonna be a bad movie but great games? I don't know, because <laughs> FNAF is kind of very linear gameplay. And if they made a movie of it, then they would have to explain the entire story to like we kids, because the demographic of Five Nights at Freddy's players is mostly kids, because you know, kids can't get enough of them jump scares, too. Yep. <laughs> so, yeah, um, basically, um, every gaming movie I see, it always ends up terrible, so I'm actually kind of worried for the movie, Final Fantasy Freddy's. I'm actually kind of worried for them if they make it, like, horrible like they did with other movies. For example, I no one has ever watched this. I hope none of you did, but it's a movie... Only exclusive to an app called Crackle, and it's called Dead Rising Watchtower. It's based off the game Dead Rising, and they ruined it completely. So, any, like, gaming movie you've ever watched, it's gonna be horrible. So, it may be to that as well. That's why I'm kind of worried for... I I hope Scott Cawthon is actually working with them as well. So then, he can point them to the right direction. Because... I'm actually going to point out another really bad video game movie is um, <coughs> the Super Mario Brothers movie. Yes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> damn. I watched that when I was younger, and I was like, that's disgraceful to mankind. Like, Yoshi scares. looks weird as heck. Yeah. Plus, the weak game. Yoshi look just like looks a, like a realistic dinosaur. And then Bowser looks like some... Man, I was trying to look in his 20s, but he's actually in his 60s. It's so mean. Bowser looks, so sorry, Bowser's but... head's so small. Yeah. And Mario, Mario, and Luigi, Mario. Oh my god. Good thing they didn't use that in other uh, Mario games. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, we're, the thing is that, um, I fr- this ha- this news like popped out of nowhere yesterday. And if you haven't seen Etika talk about it, then go watch it. It basically, there's like a but. I saw a button article saying that Final Fantasy Freddy's movie is gonna be a thing now. Warner Brothers planning to do this, which, to me, I don't think it's worth it. But my question is, what pizzeria are they gonna put it in? What game is gonna take place in? Yeah, it could be like Five Nights at Freddy's Three or Five Nights. My, in my opinion, Five Nights at Freddy's 2 would be the perfect scene, because it's kind of that moment where it's like, bro, because there's going to be a lot of movies set in the 1980s. Um, I think that, have you heard of the movie Pixels? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's a new movie. Yeah, I think out. that's going to be set in the 1980s, because it's all, like, really old characters. And if you think about it, like, movies... So no, in the movie, movie, it's actually futuristic. They have like um futuristic gear to like stop the picks the uh, like all you know how Pac you know for example I use Pac Man as an example on the movie you can actually see him in the trailer like with futuristic gear like trying to stop them yeah yeah that's what I'm like it's not set like back in the eighties or nineties it's actually in the present oh well I'm dumb um well. Five Nights at Freddy's 2 probably had the most going on. Five Nights at Freddy's 1, I played it. It was kind of easy for me. I got the Night 5 and no problem. Five Nights at Freddy and Plus, there wasn't really much happening. Well, I, I still like that game a lot. But Five Nights at Freddy's 2 was the easiest one out of the bunch. Yeah. <laughs> I, I beat, I one, beat so. um, Five Nights at Freddy's 2 in like one day. But I haven't done Night 6 yet. Night 6 is so hard. Yeah. Legit. Anyways, so Five Nights at Freddy's 1 was kind of easy, well, I still find it 
But, and then Final Fantasy 32, you needed more strategy to your game. Plus, it was where the story kind of got opened up a lot more. And then Five Nights at Freddy's 3, that game was just, it was good, but it kind of just didn't fill the gap that we, our fans, needed to kind of finish off the series. So, or the movie can just set up in a completely different scene. And along with that, they could release a new Five Nights at Freddy's game. Yeah. I'm not. No, I kind of just really want Five Nights at Freddy's on the Wii U. The gamepad. Oh, the God. The gamepad. Yeah. Imagine Five Nights at Freddy's Wii U. Yeah. Five Nights at Freddy's Wii U. <gasps> five, five Nights at Freddy's U. <gasps> da -da 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 -da. No, I mean, I can Um. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm actually going to put up a special guest right now. Someone is going to hold up. They keep Skype killing me, so I have to put them in this. Hold up. If he can just answer. Will this mystery person answer? Hello. There we go. Hi, how are you? There we go. Okay. I got it the second it came out. You're on the podcast right now. Yay. So we're talking about the Five Nights at Fridge movie. So, yes. I'm with someone else right now as well. Okay. I come from Ireland, so I don't have an Irish voice. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. So, another topic we're going to talk about is, well, it's not really like my gaming news, but it's um Club Nintendo running out of codes for Earthbound on the Nintendo eShop. You know how, like, in Club Nintendo, they offer gifts? Yeah. And yeah. they, and, yeah, they ran out of, they ran out of copies. They, it's, it's, it's excuse Of a digital game. Yeah. It's excusable since it's Club Nintendo and they have, like, codes for it. But I don't get how you can, like, still get the game, make a code for it, and then put it up there. But how can you run out if you have a lim unlimited supply of codes for that game? It, but it's not really, um, I don't blame it. It's like Club Nintendo. It has, like, codes. So, yeah. It like, could have something to do with the Amiibo. Yeah. I mean, because every, uh, all the Amiibos are selling, right? And Nintendo's like, guys, Reggie, please make. We're not making a Reggie. Maybe we have to make more Amiibos of every single character. Maybe how about a yarn? Of the how about that we can make, you know, I mean, Nintendo are just making a bunch of links in Mario, and we're not making enough of Villager. I mean, if they mean more Villager, that means more Dosh, slash longest, slash dollars, slash whatever else. So yeah. then they probably would have enough money to fund other stuff. I mean, like, just because of those Amiibos, Nintendo are probably losing a lot of money, along with the Wii U. Even though it's kind of getting, it's going to be a little sound on those two feet. When a couple of games come out, such as Splatoon or something else, it's it's still probably on a very tight, tight route. Um, it could probably fall off, and the entire company could fall off of it. And I could go into, uh, I don't know, <laughs> somewhere I'm just going off track. <laughs> I'm sorry. Nintendo's running out of ideas now. Like, all right, hey, everybody, um, this is Nintendo Direct. New Amiibos. I'm out. Like, first, Splatoon Amiibo. Um, okay. Then, M Smash Amiibos. You're really pulling... You're really just make, asking for money. Then, you are Yoshi Amiibo. Yep, I'm done. You're asking for our money. They, they just want our money on a plate. Yeah, they, like, they get, like, two p slaps of bread, put mayonnaise on it, put, like, dollar bills on it, eat it, like, oh, that was good. Mm-hmm. That's Nintendo. So basically, Amiibo are making a lot of money from Nintendo. Yeah, and it's basically um, going to sell out in seconds. Yes. So what's the point of making more if they're going to sell out and no one's going to get them? Yeah. <laughs> especially, like the for, especially like the the uh, three Amiibos. Villager, Weefa Trainer, and Marth. Oh I don't get God. how they sold, they um, got discontinued. Weefa... Trainer, obviously everyone wants more, so why can't Nintendo ever listen to their fans and say, like, hey, you want more? Here you go. We're restocking. But no. 
And I hope the villager amiibo is going to be compatible with Animal Crossing New Leaf. Oh, uh, yeah. And Wii Fit Trainer would be compatible with Wii Fit U. Oh, my God. <laughs> we just have so much good ideas, but the Nintendo won't listen to us. What about... Well, okay, want to talk about the Smash Bros. The only thing they listen to us is the Smash Ballot. Yeah. All right. It's yeah, let's start with the Smash Ballot now. Oh, my God. All the <laughs> piece of shit kids going like... Oh, make Steve a character from Minecraft. Yes. Yes. I, I, was, I read that on a comment. <laughs> Steve. I mean, the thing is, Because what's going to happen? This character, I mean, that would be like the only glimpse of hope for Minecraft on the Wii U. That's just the only glimpse of hope. Yeah. I really want Septile. Oh, my God. Septile. No, I'm what's going to happen? I bet you this is going to happen. That the Smash Ballot, they're never going to do it again because of all the requests, like, dumb requests that they can't Wait. do. I bet, like, all the... Why, hey, um, I'm a big... I really am stupid, and I should really get a life. But I want Shrek and Smash. His down B will make him fart like Wario. His, um, his B will make him, uh, throw frogs at you, and I don't know. Please, that Shrek. No. Enough. Eat those with... onions. Yeah, it throws <laughs> onions. Enough with Shrek already. And ri by the way, yeah, um, Inkling. By the way, he needs to be. In they need to be in Smash. The Inkling from Splatoon. Of course. Okay, that literally fits thing. so good. Everyone wants him in there. I have another thing. What? Um, I can just imagine. Like, a bunch of people are putting in trolls like Etika and going back to her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ed Etika for Smash. My dick. No, what is personally... What about Meat Boy for Smash? Oh, Meat Boy. Oh, God, no. Did, yeah, Super Meat Boy is not good for... <laughs> Cory Baxter is... Cory Baxter, Baxter for Smash. Is, he Holy comes Baxter from the best. He comes dog. from the. He Miley comes from the Cyrus best. Miley Cyrus, her final smash kills everybody. Done. With the wrecking ball. With the yeah, no, the wrecking ball. Smash into the house. <laughs> That's so Raven. Oh my God! Yes, that would be the best character ever. <laughs> That's so Raven. <laughs> or. That's so Raven. <laughs> or okay, the sweet life of Zack and Cody. Okay, I like about the other characters. Huh? I mean, well, really? You don't know Max Hold on. Oh, yeah, I do I know. I do have a childhood. I really do. definitely scored out. And another thing I love is Nintendo's just going to make a bunch of money. Because, like, there's a bunch of companies asking them to put in their characters, like, Meat Boy. Oh, Shunko. yeah! A bunch of, the com a bunch of uh, companies are asking... Like, yeah, Banjo... One employee of Rareware actually said, like, Banjo-Kazooie would actually be good. Yeah, that... I think that would actually be a good fit, and I don't know Yeah, why because, I like, it doesn't matter if they're bought by Microsoft. They still had it. It's... St Nintendo still worked with Rare to make games. So, basically, they still have rights to actually make them in. They put Snake in there. He had nothing to do with Nintendo. We kind of did. Well, he was in the GameCube, but it doesn't matter. It was just a port. True. Wait. Am I the only one who forgot about Snake? Snake for Smash. Come yes. On. I freaking love Snake and Brawl. I love his Final Smash. God. Have you seen um, the Smash Brothers website? And there's going to be five more characters. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Five more characters oh, of DLC. Oh, yeah. I that's true. I hope. No, yeah, no, it is true. Cause there's like yeah, five. There are five. It's never confirmed. That could have been just cause the they didn't want the page to look empty. It's never confirmed. Yeah, but, but there I, can be more five five DLC characters that have been chosen. So okay, it might be. It might. Time. There might be a direct where in June. So like where Lucas is gonna be come out. Yeah, okay, and then so they're gonna good. explain the five DLC characters. It better oh be freaking. Gosh, imagine. Yeah, Imagine it was if it was the Forbidden Five. <laughs> you know how like you know you know what the Forbidden Five is, right? No. Well, we already have Mewtwo, Roy. There's Pichu. Uh, we already have Doctor Mario. I forgot the Forbidden Five. <laughs> okay, 
Okay. Like I basically the characters really that didn't. Good idea. Yeah. This might sound stupid, <clears throat> but I want classic Sonic and Smash Brothers. He might be just an alternate costume. No. Okay. No, how about Sonic? Sonic Smash. Is Has anyone like... heard that yet? Yeah, Shantae. I can I th think that would be great at it, actually. Yeah. Okay. Actually. Hear Hear me out here. I want classic Sonic and Smash Brothers. He's gonna be like Doctor Mario. Oh, so yeah. Gonna, yeah, he's going to be like a slower, more powerful attacker. Yeah, just oh, like Dr. That Mario. That would actually be a good idea. Yeah. Or an alternate costume, at least. Yeah, the, wait. They can make him like an alternate costume, but with the same effects if he had his own character slot. Like, he'll be yeah. a slower, but more powerful attacker. <laughs> yeah. So they don't have to, like, waste another character slot. They just put him in there, and then you can use him as a character. That hey, actually guys. be cool. I know all the new Smash Brother characters. What? Okay, the five Smash Brother characters is gonna be, um, Goku, oh Black God. Goku. Are you kidding another, me? Another blue Goku. <laughs> um, a red Goku. <laughs> and then Ridley. Red Sa and then Reggie fils me. Wait, has Sakurai. anyone heard the uh, Goku for Smash? Oh my God, don't even bring that up. I, I want Goku, hope please. That becomes one of the things. I don't care. If it not, seems they should have made that as an April Fool's joke. Yes, they should have. Like, Goku for Smash, and they actually implemented him in the game. Like, no, don't worry, this is an April Fool's joke. Here you go. Oh no, what if at the very end of the whole Nintendo Direct, they said, Just kidding, we just want your money. If you pay for this DLC, then you get nothing out of it. Thank you for your money. Five dollars for a Thanks waste. Your money. We're gonna go waste it. No, I get five dollars. That's called coffin. We'll say, "Vote Freddy Fazbear," and then like a couple of months later, later, Freddy Fazbear jump scares the competition. Oh my god. That's just. Well, my dad. Well, that's my dad. Oh god. <laughs> Wait, yeah, we we're completely forgetting. How about Gun Vault for Smash? Oh, that actually be a good idea. Wait, what's Gun Vault uh, again? What's another gun oh, yeah. that I heard for Smash? Goku. No. Uh, Shantae. Yeah. Meat Boy. Let's have Creeper. What about sh No. <laughs> what about Shovel Knight? What about Shovel Knight? This game is super good. Mm -hmm. Shovel Knight seems like... I've never played a Shovel Knight game, so I can't, like... It's only, there's only one Shovel Knight game. I thought they were making a second one. I don't know. Maybe. Well, I've never played any. I the only thing like Shovel Knight is it's pixelated, and you probably wouldn't be able to tell, like, kind of make it into your 3D game. Although, RT Omni did. Yeah, he, that's what he I mean. That's what I mean. He, can, uh, he made it fit. Yeah, he made it, like, work. So then like, that very made... well. By the way, Rayman has to be a thing. Yeah, Rayman! Yes. Rayman has to be a thing. The thing yeah. is, has there ever been like a Nintendo Rayman game? Um, I mean, there was Rayman Wii Legends. Wii. It was supposed to be a Nintendo Wii U exclusive, but it didn't turn out. So then they released a Rayman like challenge app you can play on the Wii U. And yeah, it was planned to be a it. Well, there were there was a Rayman game on the Wii U that planned to be a Wii U exclusive. So that may be... But that, the thing is about Goku, someone said they wanted Eren from Attack on Titan to be a character. God dang, no. Or a Titan, and I'm like, it just doesn't fit. The, did you get it from Miiverse? Y'all thought Ridley was big? <laughs> Here's the Titan! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I love that he was just like a giant foot, and the like, attack would be to stomp on people. Oh my god. Like, the like Titan will just be a huge gigantic foot. The, the Titan will just be a gigantic foot. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all you'll see the red veins, that's all. And this Dawn Bay would be You can only play him in like 100 player Smash. Oh my god. Yeah. Well, you can all, you, no, you can only play him in multi Smash. <laughs> and the only way to unlock him is if you buy all the Attack on Titan games and buy all the. Anime stuff and buy all of our amiibos, scan them into your, scan them into our Wii U, join the Illuminati, 
and then get a Mario Cup, <laughs> and then high five your bedroom door five times, go on to your Wii U, and then a dinosaur code would be accepted, and yeah. And then a code and then will pop that, up. You go to a secret base in Russia, Russia, and then a wee man comes and says, Hurrah, we will announce the code to you that you can type into your Wii U eShop, and then you'll get the Titan. Oh my god. No, Wait. something, something I, why in the world, why is not Mewtwo here yet? You have to wait till the 28th or 15th if you did the code thing. Yeah. But why? You oh, made us it. wait this long without any news or anything. Well, they did say you can register both codes and then like, you'll get it for free. The world got so excited for it and I'm playing it right now. But I mean, like, let's be honest here. I have that game as well. It's so good. I didn't download it yet. I'm already level it. four on this game. God damn with it. a hoodie on my me. So I, I don't have a hoodie. My me like... follows me around and says, "I love Chipotle." <laughs> really? My thing says "Merry Christmas." Oh yeah, mine's gonna say "Inhale my dong." I already know it. <laughs> My dong. If you look at my um, go to your friends list right now. Look. Yeah, me. yeah, I, I saw that. It's just an inhale my dong. That means I got it from that. It's like a game f called Five Nights at F Boys. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and that's inhale and when you go to the balloon boy, it says inhale my dong and regiment child. That's why I put it there. Okay, I just thought of a really good idea for a movie. What? Pokemon. Pokemon. And last but not least, Pokemon. Who wouldn't love a Pokemon movie? Yeah. <laughs> no, what I've noticed, you know, uh, Puzzles and Dragons? Yeah. You know how they made it with Mario? Yeah. Yeah. I think Pokemon Shuffle was made, because when they chose Mario instead of Pokemon, Game Freak got pissed. Why? Think about it. It's like, oh, it's a game where you use different types to battle each other. Oh, true. And it's kind of like a mix and match game. Well, we have a bunch of types. Everyone knows them really well. Let's do Mario. Oh my God. Game Freak seems legit. Farming, like, I'm gonna make. Pro I want to get the bundle. In that conference? I want to pro. Oh, hey, Mario. I'm probably gonna. I want to get like the um one, that one the game where it has both Puzzles and Dragons and Puzzles and Dragons um Super Mario Edition. I'm not gonna get them separate. I'm actually gonna get the one that has like both in one. Yeah, me too. Okay. I have another topic. Different stories. Yeah. I wanna talk about the next Pokemon game. They're yeah. blind it's come soon. Yeah. I yeah. heard that this was a thing. Pokemon um XY and Pokemon YX. No. And it was gonna be kind of like fusioned in each other like with each other, but with uh whatever that Pokemon's name is, crap. You know Pokemon Z? Well, basically, it's basically Pokemon Black 2 and White 2, but instead of the game, it's uh, that one thing. I can't remember the name of that Pokemon Zernius? right now. And then they're fused with the... Zygarde. Zygarde. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're okay. fused with uh, the main legendaries. Oh. Yeah. So it's basically well, Pokemon Black 2 Pokemon and White 2. Gonna be, I think the next Pokemon game is going to be... Pokemon Z, and then Pokemon Yellow remake for the Wii U. Okay, hear me out here. Oh, Why Pokemon Z? Okay, so Pokemon Z is gonna be like... Okay, so... French fries! Um, Team Slayer is gonna come back. All the scientists are gonna come back. Cause Lysander died in that giant explosion of the weapon. And then they're gonna bring Xerneas... No, not Xerneas. Yvelto back to life. And then you, that Daxio and other person, your rivals and Professor Sycamore, and all the gym leaders will bring Xerneas back to life. So then while Wait, King don't Claire you is trying to destroy the, the world, you're going to be trying to um, make it nice again. And then while like the entire war is breaking out, Xerneas just like comes out from his cave, and then you use thousand waves and a thousand arrows and literally just brings them all down to the sky. And then he calls, and then he like kind of fixes it, and then, and then like you're gonna be able to catch Yveltal like, and Xerneas, and then after game you're gonna be able to catch Zygarde, and then when you catch him, like he drops two Mega Stones for Mega Mega Zygarde 
X and Omega Zygarde Y. I don't know. I just kind of made that up off the top of my head. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so let's talk about Attack on Titan. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Oh my god, the 3DS game! I, I, I need that. I need that. My wall. I'm going to wait till midnight for that digital download because it's not coming to America like an actual copy. My really? No. Oh, that sucks. I, w I will be waiting. If it's a school day, I'll be waiting. I hope it, I no I hope it's gonna be a di not a digital I hope it's both no, like it's a digital download only How come that it wasn't digital in Japan it was like both Because Japan gets everything nice it's, hmm. I'm pretty sure that Nintendo was like racist to people from Europe I swear they are But you get the original Nintendo 3DS we get only the XL Yeah but if you think about it logically, okay, I'm gonna name all the things that America gets first. Um, you all get Smash Brothers first. You all get the new Pokemon game first. You all get Smash Brothers Wii U first. Um, you all get, I don't know. You all get better TV programs. I mean, like all we get is like that Gordon Ramsay shining at chefs, and it's really bad. <laughs> I'm so I enjoy. It. We get Family Feud. <laughs> We yeah. get Power Rangers. Get really nice. Yeah, we Y'all get, get, really we get, I get, we get Frozen on Ice. Yas. But you don't, we I feel sorry. Too. We get Frozen I mean, like, too. I haven't, like, I haven't had, like, snow since January, and before that it was, like, 2010. Literally 2010. Oh, <laughs> God. God. That's been so sad. We All had right. snow a lot. I have, I have, in where I live right now. I have snow a lot, not even kidding. Plus, y'all get I really good snow Pokemon like events. Months. Oh, yeah, we get Pokemon events. I mean, like, the only thing that we have right now is um, you get a shiny Charizard with both of the Mega Stones. <gasps> really? Wait, you yeah. get a what? If you're in Europe, shiny... then if you go to game, then you get a shiny Charizard with both of the stones. No! No, it's true. We don't get that. <laughs> no, you are you lucky got, right you there. Got, you got shiny Gengar last year. Yeah, yeah, but I didn't get it at all. Why? Because uh, my uh, my mom my mom and dad don't think it's you can just get it for free. I told Why? them. Why? I'm like that one kid that doesn't get whatever he wants, but like you guys. <laughs> so you're basically saying you're not spoiled. I'm not spoiled. I'm kind of. I I I, I don't know. <laughs> I cry every time a game comes out. Happiness. I cry I when a game Rumble. comes out and I can't get them. I waited like hold up October. Um, actually, I waited for Smash 3DS until Christmas, and that was like a butt ton of months. Okay. You know what's funny? I got like something on the super sad out. that what? happened to me only Pokemon. like on Sunday. I mean, not Pokemon. Uh, Super Smash Bros. Oh god. All right, okay. well, all right. This happened to me on Saturday for the tweet. Do you know my competitive Pokemon team? Yep. And all my shinies and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I went on on Saturday, and it literally said the game is corrupt. Would you still like to play? And I was like, heck yes. I went on all the times, so like, messed up, all glitchy, and all the musicals on the place and everything. Now I went into my PC, and they were all just, like, pixels. And then I was like, and all my shinies and all my legendaries, and I was like, no! Oh, God. Every figure of mine was gone. But I kind of made up for it because I still have a really good team right now. Um, I have a Venusaur, Swamper, Typhlosion, Skarmory. When right. you got Alpha Sapphire first than me, I'm je I was jealous. I, I got it very soon when it came out. I Not the exact same day, but... I planned to get it on Christmas, but I didn't. I got Mario Kart 7 instead. I was I like, yep, I'm never going to get, ago, and, I, and I never got the event for, like, um, Shiny Metagross in the Megastone. So sad. Wait, what's What? So sad. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm playing Pokemon uh, Rumble World, oh. Oh. and then this new thing showed up in this uh, shop called Support Power 1. Oh, no, no, no. Let's Pokemon. talk about the Direct! By the way, the, uh, the game that I'm really, really excited for... Hey, Shin Shigami Tensei, 
um, with Fire Emblem. It's a cr the crossover game for the Wii U. The music is beautiful. I really want to. Oh, you mean like that anime crossover thing? Yep, the anime crossover game for the for the Wii U. I need it. The music is beautiful. Just from me, I think that they should just release Persona Five on the Wii U. Oh my God, I wish. Oh, I want I want Persona Q, but I can't get Persona Q. I had a chance to get it, but it didn't look appealing as like the normal on the PlayStation One. Hmm. Whoa! Like I had a chance like to get some really good minutes. games, and I blew it. Hmm. Instead, it's I got uh. Going to GameStop and choosing for a game, that, game but. going to GameStop and choosing for a game you want is like um picking it's like ask it's like your kids asking who is the favorite. Yes. Oh my God. Oh yeah. I Even remember, though you're gonna choose one. I remember I was in a game. Well, this is like the UK version of GameStop. I was in this place called the game. Oh, I forgot. They had, they had, I'm not lying about this, but they had a villager amiibo, it was all hidden away, and then I went back to get a milkshake, came back, and then I saw a wee kid at the counter with that villager amiibo, and then I was like, no, so then I just picked up Sheik. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, so wait, I did you, wait, I know that this one Zelda game is only in the UK. Did you did you ever see Tingle's Rosie Rupee Land? Nope. It's a UK exclusive. It's not in here. In the, it? Yeah, it's not here in the US. It's for the DS. Oh my god. Okay, let me just type it up first. Like, yeah, okay. um, freshly picked t Tingle's Ro Rosie ah! Rupee Land. It's only in the UK, not here. <laughs> By the way, this podcast has been like this. this Need your help to get us on that. Smash. I can download two Pokemon games right now. Swiper, no swiper, swiper, no swiper. I can download two Pokemon games right now. Pokemon Rumble yeah. World. And Pokemon you can Shuffle. Or you can, cause I, have both. I can. Do it. But I'm too lazy. <laughs> my three, my three DS is in my hand right now. Really? Um, I'm like tempted. just coming from me, I don't even like the new three DS to start and throw it in like a blur. It's just like it I came love, from the gods. I love the new Nintendo three DS. I just really want it. I don't want the XL though. Why wouldn't you dude, want the XL? Dude, come to Europe. Oh I'm my god, I just got a fever, which I have no idea. Oh! Yeah, wait, no, but, um, it's, it's, on, it's like region locked, so you can't play U USA, US games on the Europe one. Well, then if you get a PO box, I, if, when you get a PO box, I don't know, but you can, like, send games. <laughs> Smash. Uh, oh, how about Zelda Wii, or Legend of Zelda Wii U? Getting... It's cancelled. It, no, 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 not cancelled. It got delayed. Yeah, it's 2016. Yeah. Oh, yeah, by the way, you should... You, wait, did... uh, You should really get Xenoblade Chronicles 3D. It's a remake of the Wii game. I was gonna get that. I'm it really like, feeling it. It looks I'm like a... Uh, it. That's my 3D. That's my, like, um... To be honest, Pokemon. it looks like a, a rhythm game. What? Uh, Xenoblade Chronicles. Mm. I'm not new for Pokemon. Why does, it, why does Nintendo of America think that the Ninte new Nintendo 3DS, the original one, doesn't fit the U.S. market? We all want to face plates, but no, it, it doesn't fit for the U.S. Well, Apparently, well, Europe... Americans can't decide. Europe is basically I almost... I could, Europe is basically like almost the same hours, as the U.S. Like the face plates or the XL? You can't. Well, you know, I finally was gonna get it. I think I was gonna get the XL. I really I want to. I was XL. like, I, I, I'm like, I later on I was like, I was a few like, I don't know. I was like back then, not back then. God dang it! When the new Nintendo 3DS was announced, I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna get the original. 
Sorry, the, the original is never coming to you to the U.S. It doesn't fit the American market. So, yeah, here's the XL. You no, know, I figured out when I was actually at GameStop trying to get one. What did they say? They said, oh, we don't have it, uh, like, we don't, we only have the XL. And I'm like, what? I was going to get the XL anyway, but I was so confused. Why do we only get the XL? I got the normal one just because of face plates. I have like a Pokemon out that's not fire face That's plates. the reason why I wanted to get the face plates. I mean, like, it's basically just saying, like, hey, bootleg companies, we don't want you selling decals. Hey, you, listen. Hey, you have cry. Don't cry, you have me, Navi. Get out of here. Hey, look, listen. And Majora's Mask. 3D? Special edition that game is for so the good. 3DS. He's I'm, like, I'm getting, getting a Wii Fit Trainer amiibo. My dick. I'm getting um Majora's Mask 3D for my birthday. Really? What's your birthday, what buddy? August 18th. Oh, I might yeah. be there for a while. No, get Pokemon. I get don't Pokemon. know. It's a hard decision on what game to get. Okay. Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire is X and Y improved. No, yeah, I'm, I'm not even kidding. Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire is Pokemon X and Y on steroids. You can even see that from Mega Swamper. He's been taking some of those horn steroids and going mad on that super training. I think the Hulk um, made himself blue again and then black. And just like, hey, I'm a Pokemon. Can I be in it? Oh yeah, I forgot. I'm make. I'm. i I have a backup channel ready. Oh yeah. Anyways, I think this should be the end of the podcast because we basically like talked about a lot of things that have been happening. So I hope you guys can I end it, please. Yeah. I'm really feeling it. Chipotle. I'll see you guys in the next podcast. I'm really feeling it. Goodbye.